Hey guys. Aside from a, uh, aside from my huge cars collection video from over a, over a weeks ago, I believe. Yeah, it was weeks ago. I decided to do a, uh, Toy Story collection video since the, uh, since the obtains I got from last year was Rex, Slinky, the DVDs of the first two films, plus the uh, obtains from, from this year would have been the uh, micro collection Woody and Buzz and their variants, plus this Hot Wheels character stars Woody that will be shown throughout, throughout the uh, entirety of this uh, collection video, I believe. What you're seeing is a Toy Story collection video. I thought I want to do this for other franchises I uh, tend to collect. My Cars collection is very, very huge. And I've only got for it. Well, collection overview before we get started. It was... It was... Oh, uh, yeah. My collection started all the way back. It was a uh, short, at least. Short-lived, I mean. I mean, I didn't have very many. Not as very many merchandise as I thought I had. But as of late 2017, all my collection of... All my Toy Story collection items have gone into storage except for the, uh... Obtains I didn't get until later. This excludes the Wii game, apparently, nor the VHS. But uh, any apart from anything else, throughout July to August of 2022, I was feeling a bit nostalgic. Got my collection back from storage, at least. And so... This is the Remains My Toy Story 3 DVD. It's got a few scratches, but it still works. Literally, the micro collection figures were easy to find, but Slinky I ordered from Amazon. Nothing else. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright. First up, the character who I collected the most was Sheriff Woody. He's literally the main character in every fran in every franchise. Starting up, we have this uh, Woody 20-inch plush. This model is far off sharp. I mean, they did really good detailing. The vest is still intact. The only this is my own. This is the only Woody doll I have to have the vest the vest intact. It's in its, like, a uh, Toy Story 2 condition. The arm is, uh, slightly ripped, as seen in the, uh, as seen throughout the movie. Since this is a plush, the pull string doesn't move. It's, uh, static this way. For some reason, I removed the tag from this under penalty of law. I guess I probably got a penalty for this. Really weird. This item was released in September of 2010, right around the release of Toy Story 3. But this but this plush was released two months before the DVD release of Toy Story 3. So I didn't have this guy not until like uh 2013 or something. And from 2013 to 2015, Woody would be my Halloween costume. Until 2016, I thought I didn't need this any. I thought I didn't didn't need the costume anymore. I decided to go through some cool, spooky stuff. So, in a matter of fact, I kept this plush here. It's been in storage since like uh, late 2017. And I got it back from storage right around right around mid-2022. 
and that was where I got the things kicked up for my channel. Now moving on is a uh, Woody plush that actually would have been like Elf in the Shelf. <laughs> this concept, this concept when I bought back from storage, this concept cracked me up. It originally was a uh, scarf buddy, but the scarf was removed, apparently. The vest is missing. The battery compartment was removed, so it's kind of a uh, plush now. So it's just kind of woody now without the vest. And here's another woody without the vest. This is the Thinkway Toys Woody doll. Completely, like, detailed at least. All the face that doesn't even look movie accurate. There's been some uh, marks on him. Which is some wear and tear that has been. The vest is missing, and the pull string is removed. The belt is like cut off at least. Since this is a Thinkway Toys Woody doll, you can actually write your name on his boot, indicating it's yours. Just like what Andy did. Now we're going over to the Woody figures. The uh, micro collection figures here. They come in two different variants. This is the uh, Cars 155 scale die cast of Woody, him as seen in Cars, but the hat is apparently missing, and the replacement hat I have was the, uh, I believe this is a Playmobil one, the Hot Wheels character stars Woody. This is a Disney Infinity figure of Woody. Which has got some slight damage. This is a McDonald's 2019 Woody. As this was as this was bought over from McDonald's to correspond to the release of Toy Story 4. But odd reasons, I I'm never resolving to collecting Toy Story 4. And I never will. Not until some period of time at least. Now we're moving on to Buzz Lightyear. He has uh not many, very different variations to collect, but I never got around to. I used to have like a uh, Buzz Lightyear action figure that is uh, a bit larger, but no longer, unfortunately. Maybe he, uh, maybe the battery compartments were uh, destroyed eventually. So, overview. This is the Disney Infinity figure of Buzz. And... These are the micro collection buzz. And he comes in two different variations, just like with Woody. And moving on to the um, rest of the main characters. Here is a Disney Infinity Jesse. And this is the only sign of Jesse in my collection. I mean, I was so happy to have her at least. Not what I thought. But what about the Disney Infinity figures that I have obtained and how? Well, I forgot to tell you this. I think my cousin Zachary gave me this for post, gave me the Disney Infinity Buzz and Jesse and the Toy Story and Space play set from post Christmas, I think. And I got a Disney Infinity Woody figure from Sam's Club. So, that was literally the overview. Let's get on with the rest. This is a ham piggy truck as seen in as seen in cars. This is the only sign of ham in my collection, as I don't have the regular pig. What's the big idea? <laughs> Here's Rex. This is the micro collection Rex. This is when I obtained him, when I uh, made the models like Zebedee and Zack. So here's Slinky, a wind-up Slinky that I've obtained. I ordered it from Amazon. Such easy to find, an easier Slinky to find. It does wind up. 
but it may be a bit noisy, and I just don't like that. I don't like the wind-up feature, but I do like Slinky. And these two are like the McDonald's Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. I didn't have them back then, no. But actually, I think it was my brother maybe, alongside Bullseye. Yeah, they obtained this a long time ago, and I and I obtained them back in twenty, and I obtained them in twenty sixteen. So they were kept on my uh, treehouse, so. And therefore, I rescued them from the treehouse, and they're now the part of my Toy Story collection. The Push Puppet Bullseye, it unfortunately is the only sign of Bullseye in my collection. I'm still resolving on getting more of these items. Plus, I'm still resolving on getting the aliens. I found them, I found a lot of three alien figures from eBay. And I'm managing to get them. Now let's move on to the other merch. This is the Toy Story 2 disc set. This was released in 2005 for the 10th anniversary. As you see right here, Bring the Adventure Home and the DVD guide is behind there. Disc 1 and Disc 2. I literally bought this from eBay, and it was complete. This also this includes the uh, exclusive sneak peek to Pixar's next animated feature at the time, and it was Cars. At the time of this D of this DVD's eventual release, all the same. Next up is the Toy Story 2 two disc special edition DVD. To be honest, uh, yes. I really like how this, uh, you can, uh, slide, like, very easily, like. Go, it's the DVD guide, I believe. Disc 1 and Disc 2. It also includes a new sneak peek of Pixar's next animated feature. It was at the time of this DVD's release, and it was Cars. Completely different sneak peek, at least. Regardless, this, in my opinion, anyone's, is the best Toy Story movie ever. I literally rate this. Next up is Toy Story 3. This is the remains of my DVD. It has a few scratches on it. Oh, you see my face now. You saw it earlier in the video, but these were the actual remains of that DVD. Plus, I no longer have the DVD cover. Weird, isn't it? How am I supposed to store this DVD? Will I ever find a... Uh, a DVD with no disc and a damaged uh, disc cover, so I can uh, so I can uh, legally print the. Uh... No, 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 that will not happen. No, no way. Other merchandises. Eventually, we got the uh, Disney Infinity base, the playset, the Disney Infinity playset piece. Of Toy Story in Space. This is Buzz Lightyear's original packaging and the Star Command symbol. Here's Toy Story Mania, a Wii game. So eventually in March of 2019, a couple from like a Munner City that's similar to Mitzville. A, the couple actually sent me this Wii alongside this game and a few others. But that's going to be in a later video. Overall, I do like this game, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I have gotten around to playing it. But who knows? It's one of my favorite Wii games. It's actually my third favorite Wii game. The first being 
Mario Kart Wii, which is the actually best Mario Kart title, and the second being Cars Made or National Championship. Let's get, but let's get off with through another video. Let's move on to the uh, books and others. So we got the the Disney's Wonderful World of Reading Toy Story book, impressively detailed with screenshots of the uh, first movie at least. That's really like a uh, proper, I guess. Sadly, I never got resolved to a uh, read along of uh, actual books. Unfortunately, this is this is the uh, Disney's Wonderful Work World of Reading Toy Story 2, but unlike the first film, this actually has illustrations on it. Illustrations that were uh, loosely based on the movie itself. Here is the Toy Story 2 VHS. Ignore that sticker. So this is one of these VHS's I had. I had the first movie on VHS, but I can't find it anywhere. So, this is the only Toy Story movie I have on VHS now. As I said before on this, on this DVD, the best Toy Story title ever. Not gonna lie. This is the tape itself, and uh, I feel like I got most of the movie at least. I mean, I can't resist on how great onto a uh, wow. And next up, we have the uh, Toy Story 3 Look and Find book. This was the largest Toy Story book I've ever owned, literally the largest. P.I. were not real geniuses to getting a uh, smaller look and find book. Even if they had to be a little bit like masterminds to do such. I mean, what, what do I mean not being masterminds? What about everything that's being resolved? Don't forget several illustrations were loosely based on the movie itself. And this could have been the result. This book has gone through a very hard time in storage, eventually. I don't know. I don't know if I did buy this, but someone obtained this for me. Back in like, uh... Back in like around the time of the release of Toy Story 3. <laughs> I put it on storage because I thought I didn't need this anymore. Not until very much now. Moving on to other merchandise and total. We have the uh, Toy Story sticker lane with eight pages, but I use them. This is the, uh, the Woody bookmark, which is said to be released in like March 1st, 2010. And these were several months before the release of Toy Story 3. This is the uh, DVD booklet of See Your Favorite Characters Leap Off the Screen in 3D. This will uh, literally imply your PlayStation console or Blu-ray player. You need a 3D HDTV for that. Could have been useless. Next up, we have Slinky's card back as I've obtained him. This is the uh, Hot Wheels character cars Woody's card back. You can also get Sully or Remy. I'll grab these a little like later, I think. And this is the Toy Story Mania instruction booklet that came from the game. The instruction booklet may be full of uh, useful tips or something like that. And there you have it, guys. All Toy Story stuff that I eventually owned. Besides, 
I should better up wrap this video out. There's probably a lot that I own here. I'm probably going to do a uh, Wii collection video, but that's going to be discussed later. As anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And who's your favorite character, you may ask? Oh, who's my favorite character, you may ask? Well, my favorite character is Ham. He's a super genius, just like me. Something like that. Slinky's my second favorite character. Probably not gonna lie. Because I like how, uh, worried he may be. Or Woody. <laughs> how helpful is he? Jesse is actually my third favorite character from the said franchise. Wheezy's my fourth favorite character, and Arcee's my fifth favorite character. And I actually don't have them, apparently. I did have a Shake and Go RC, but no longer anymore. So, without that, anything's further ado. I did say already. I did say already thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the uh, long video ever for some uh, for something blown off the sun like this. And I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video, and bye.